All right, today's workout, we're gonna to need to have your dumbbells. We're gonna work on Tabata training. It is gonna be advanced. You're gonna work up a good sweat, but it's all gonna be based on the energy output you give. We're gonna do 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna repeat certain exercises, and we're gonna have a great time doing this. And I have the first round. The first round, we're doing eight minutes and 40 seconds overall. So once again, grab your chair, make sure you have a nice sturdy chair along with some dumbbells. We're gonna be doing a lot of ups and downs, moving and grooving, and getting the mind in the right place. So are you ready? Let's get started. So have a seat. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Let me get the timer rocking and rolling. We're starting off with an eight second recovery already. That's gonna be just the, the way the clock is gonna work. But then we're gonna start off by just doing this. We're gonna do a nice warm up, all right? So here we go. Let's get after it. So we're going here, arms are straight out. You're gonna keep yourself upright, pull the stomach in nice and tight, arms up and over, left over right, then right over left. Contract the chest fibers, meaning to squeeze the chest muscles. Beautiful, that's 20 seconds. We're gonna go again. We have five, four, three, we're gonna go faster. Two, and one, arms out. Let's go. Pick that speed up. Get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. Come on, bring it over, over left, left over right, right over left. Five seconds, three, two, and time. We're gonna go again, tighten those abs, lift the chest up, focus on the muscles being worked. Here we go in two, one, arms out, and let's go. Come on, extend those arms, really squeeze the chest. I want you to feel like if you have a quarter in the center of your chest, and you're trying to crush that quarter. Come on, pull your stomach tight. Working the total body, arms up a little higher now. You got this. Ooh yeah, nice. We're gonna keep the arms going up and down, up and down, last set, then we're gonna go into something different. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So come on, we're going up. Working the incline, working the, the center. So we're not going all the way down, we'll come back to where we started and back up again. You got it. And relax, good. We're gonna scoot to the edge of that chair. We're gonna just crunch up left and right, okay? Here we go in three, two, and one. So we're crunching up, keep your stomach tight. If you wanna go down to the floor to do this, if you can, feel free. That's the more advanced variation of this. But if you're good on, on, on sitting down, then stay with me the whole time. Squeeze those abs and relax. When you're working your abs, remember, you have to crunch in to actually activate the stomach muscles, all right? Let's go in three, two, one. Come on, squeeze. I don't want you to wait for that burn to happen. I want you to be the one to squeeze. And don't pull your neck. Don't pull your neck. I could just come right here to show you. I'm not pulling the neck at all. I could already feel the abs working. Everything is moving the weight shit. Two seconds. And relax. You're doing awesome. Woo! You getting warmed up? Because I'm warmed up. Three, two, one, and let's go. Remember, if you find this too easy, you can go faster or you can lift both legs together to advance the move, okay? But right now, I'm gonna keep it here. I don't wanna deplete the muscles too much right now. So, make your choice. Three seconds, two, and one. Nice, one more round. How you doing so far? You doing good? Cause I'm doing great. Here we go. We go in three, two, one, and let's get it. Another trick as well, as you're crunching, if you want to make it a little bit more advanced, is to keep your back from touching the chair. And you scoot to the edge of the chair a little bit more, which gives you a deeper incline. There we go. And relax, good. So let's get those dumbbells. We're gonna go above the head. Make sure the weights are not too heavy. We're gonna go to Arnold, Arnold presses. We're gonna press up here and in. Up and in. You got this. 
Come on, stay tight with me. Hang in there. Focus. Inhale and exhale. Every time you come in, you're doing a chest fly to a shoulder press. If you want to go heavier because you want more work, feel free. There you go. And if you want to stand, stand and do the same exact thing. Here we go. In three, two, one. I'm going to scoot to the edge now. I'm not going to have my back supported to the back of that chair right now. I'm going to keep everything tight. Be mindful of what my body's feeling. There you go. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, strong breathing. We have five seconds. Oh, yeah. There you go. Five seconds. Ten seconds goes by real fast, doesn't it? We have three seconds left. Here we go. Two. And let's press and chest fly. Come on, stay strong here. Keep your stomach tight. Nice and tight. Focus on that mind, baby. Let the mind lead the body. Whoo, yeah. Come on. The stronger the mind gets, the stronger the body gets. Nice, relax. One more round. That's why I'm telling you, get light weights because when you go too heavy, they get, they get heavy really fast. Really fast. All right, last round. Aim for that full range of motion. Aim to press all the way up. Really reach up to that roof. Press. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go a little heavier. I have only 10 seconds to change this weight load. And we're gonna go to arm curls, seated arm curls. There you go, the clock went off. To the edge of that chair, left and right. Lifting up together, I'm keeping the stomach nice and tight. Everything is engaged, everything is feeling great. Feel the muscles saying hello to you. Feel the contraction in those biceps. And relax. Now your biceps is right here, okay? Those are your biceps. I love you, babies. We have four seconds. Two, and chest up, stomach tight. I want you to keep your elbows locked to your torso. And I want you to focus on squeezing the biceps. You're pulling the weight up. That's what you do when you're going to pull the weight up. And you're going to use those muscles to pull it up. There you go. I don't want you to rush too much. I want you to take the time to focus on the muscle. <sighs> nice. Round two is done. Take the time to focus on that, on that curl. Okay? When we rush, we miss the opportunity to contract the muscle and get stronger. We want to get that blood to pump. Nice. Try to avoid too much rocking. Try to avoid this if you're doing this, right? That's okay every now and then when the weights get heavy, as long as you're keeping your back straight. But right now, I want you to stay nice and controlled. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. One more round. How are you feeling? No, I think we have two more rounds, right? I think we do. It doesn't matter. A little x-ray ain't gonna hurt nobody. That's right, stomach tight. Remember, you want to stand up and do this? Feel free to stand and do the same thing. You got this. Come on. Squeeze your abs. Don't let your stomach just stay there. Relax. Squeeze your stomach. As I told you that, I had to squeeze my stomach. That was a good reminder for myself. We're doing awesome. Let's go one more round. I believe that's, that's we're on the money. If not, that's okay. Here we go. Now we're going to do a 30-second burnout. Okay, we're adding a 10-second rest. A 10 second addition, did I say rest? Ha! Oh yeah. Let's go, get that range of motion. Feel everything working, everything is fired up. Here you go. Almost there, eight seconds. Come on, give me a little work, a little extra burn. Three. And relax, nice work, okay. Get a little water if you need it. Hydrate. I'm gonna get my water, so hydrate. Don't forget, hydration is the key. Oh boy, I'm still here. I'm just gonna get my water. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we're gonna hit a little leg work now. We're gonna do a, a standing calf raise. We're gonna get the weights to go heavy. I'm gonna go real heavy on this one because I, I need to build my, my skinny calf muscles. All right. We're going back to the top. 
First round is done. Make sure your weight is strong, mean and heavy. Don't go light, okay? Keep your chest up, stomach nice and tight. Here we go. I'm gonna stand in front of my chair in two and one. So you're gonna come all the way up. As you raise all the way up, you're gonna squeeze the, tri the, the, uh, the back of those calf muscles. Some people have really big calf muscles. I wasn't blessed with big calf muscles. My calf muscles are, are baby, baby calves. However, I still got some definition in them, so I'm not rushing through the move. There you go, nice work. If you wanna sit down, you could do a seated calf raise as well. I'm gonna do this round the same exact way in two and one. So you're gonna go here, put the weight right on the top of that knee. Let the weight weigh those legs down and you're lifting up. Don't worry about speed, focus on the contraction, on taking your time. There you go. And relax, nice work. How are you doing? You doing good? I know you're doing good because I am feeling the muscles working. I'm going back to standing. Here we go. Come on, get them up there nice and high. Reach up as high as you can. Feel the calf muscles folding up. Those muscles are called the gastrocnemius if you're wondering what the real name is. Gastrocnemius, that's the name of that muscle in the back of the, of the legs. Ah, nice. So I'm gonna do another round seated. This is the last round. And then we're gonna go to our quarter squats, okay? And let's go. Keep your chest up. The heavier the weight, the more effective it is. If you see me, I'm sweating. I'm not playing around. I'm not here taking my time, being easy. I wanna work. I don't wanna just be here wasting time. I, wanna, I want results. Three seconds, one more lift, and relax, beautiful. Okay, put the weights down. We're gonna go to quarter squats. We have uh, three seconds. Arms are here to the edge of that chair. That's right, press through the heels. If you find it's too difficult, right, use your hands like this to support the body. You could even hold on to the back of the chair like this, as long as you're not pushing the chair. So if you have knee problem, this will remove a lot of pressure from your knees, but at the same time, relax, you're getting some leg work. Does that make sense? So I want you to work. And if you wanna go and be a little pretty, then grab some dumbbells. I'm gonna use this dumbbell, just one, and do the same exercise. Just added some extra weights to make it so much more challenging for me. There you go. Nice. That felt good. As the muscles are being challenged, the body is feeling great. And that's what we need. We want to work those muscles, all right? Come on. Here we go. If you want to stand all the way up, feel free to stand all the way up. When you get to that top, that's when you're going to really activate that butt muscle. You're going to get that good squeeze. When you go up, push the hips in and make sure you don't lock your knees out really hard. Okay? Even I make that same mistake at times. Don't lock your knees out. Last round. Let's go. I'm standing all the way up in this one. Remember, listen to what your body's telling you. If standing up is too hard, then use those hands until you get strong enough to do what needs to get done. Oh yeah. Come on, squeeze that booty. Oh yeah. And relax. Nice. Excellent. Now we're gonna go to kickbacks. I'm using the back of this chair as my support. Make sure my, long, my daddy long legs don't kick anything. So here we go. You're gonna go up. And you're softening the left leg, the supporting leg. And as you kick back, you're keeping your hips parallel to that ground. Keep a neutral spine, looking straight down or looking at a 45 degree angle. Come on, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze. Good. Shake it off. I don't know about you, but I felt that right in that butt. Dang. Wow. Whoa, boy. Here we go. And we're back. So now you're focusing. Remember, don't rush the move. As a matter of fact, the slower you move, the more the muscles are gonna work. If you're focusing on just numbers or speed, then you are defeating the purpose. Sometimes we need speed. Right now, 
We want to control. Mm. Oh yeah, that felt so good. Shake it off, shake it off. And I want you to listen to your body. Make the workout your workout. I don't know what's hurting you and what's not hurting you. You have to make the decision of what, what makes sense, what don't. There you go. Come on, tight. Pull your stomach in as well. Your, ha- your abs is the key of everything. Squeeze your abs. Never let your abs relax. Okay? There are certain exercises you cannot tighten the abs, like on a squat, for example, when you're down. When I'm down here in a squat, it's hard to tighten the abs. However, as you stand, your abs are getting tight. It's getting clinched up, okay? You're doing great. Here we go. Let's get it. Squeeze that booty. No lazy butt. You know that lazy, the lazy butt syndrome is an actual real thing, right? Look it up. Okay, let's not get that lazy butt syndrome. Let's keep the booty active. Nice and tight. Good butt muscles. Nice. The stronger that butt, the stronger your overall strength, the stronger your back, the stronger everything. When you have back issues, a lot of times because your butt muscles are not tight enough. Here we go. I've been doing a lot more work on squeezing these booties, okay? The booty, right butt cheek, left butt cheek. Come on, give me some more squeeze. I know you can squeeze harder than that. Come on, squeeze, squeeze. Put your hands on your butt and feel how tight your butt is. Is it tight enough or can you go tighter? Perfect. You could always go tighter. Always, always go tighter. Okay, here we go. We're doing great. And let's get after it. Come on, stomach tight. Exhale as the legs come up. Perfect. Oh my, I can feel that burn right now. That burn, oh yeah, wow. We are working, baby. So we're gonna go to step ups. I'm gonna go with the weights, I'm holding weights in my hand. Here we go, we're tapping up. I'm curling, but remember, taking our time. Keep the core tight, everything is locked in. And don't go kicking your chair. Lift the leg up high enough to tap that chair. If you can't get up there, then just tap with the foot. You see it? Like that. The clock went off. I love that rest time. You're doing awesome. We're almost done. Your body is working. Hopefully you're sweating like crazy right now. Here we go. Every time I land, I'm landing with a soft knee. Always. And I'm keeping my stomach tight to brace the torso and to protect my lower back. And I'm not rocking forward. All right. When I put the weights down, I bend the legs, push the butt back, keeping the back straight, okay? We have three seconds. Bend the legs, pick it up. And let's go. This is going to be the 30 second burnout. You got this. Come on. This is your finisher here. Come on. You're doing great. As the weights get really heavy, like mine now, use momentum if you have to, to really swing that baby up. As long as you're not rocking your back and you're keeping your back back in a straight alignment, you're good. That's it. Beautiful. Woo. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. That felt so good. I don't know about you, but I felt really good. I'm almost at my gallon of water for the day, too. How are you doing on your water, by the way? Are you drinking enough water? Or are you staying mindful of your hydration? As we're training and we're working out, the body is going to change as long as you're doing what needs to get done. As long as you're eating the right way, as long as you're drinking your water, you're getting your rest, you're staying consistently exercising, whether it's from the chair or wherever you are, as long as you're working out, your body is going to change. But if you're not doing any of that, your body is still going to change, but it's going to go in the opposite direction of where you really want to go. So like for me, I have goals defined in my mind to get my midsection much more defined now because I'm carrying a lot of water weight here. A lot of fat, actually. Man, look at this. I'm carrying a lot of fat. See this? I'm not afraid to show you. Look. See that? So I want to get rid of that because I've been eating a lot more food, increasing a lot more calories 
so I could put on some weight knowing that I was going to get this little belly. But now I'm at 208. I'm going to bring it back down to like about 200, maybe 198 or something like that and start to define the body again. But one of the most important things to remember is you have to drink the water. All right. I'll see you in the next workout. Leave your comments. Let me know how you are doing. And don't forget, get in the group. I want to see you in a group. Get in the Facebook group. Get in the community. Start talking, connecting. Use your membership site. Get on the membership site. Log into that thing and use the workouts because we have a ton of things coming your way. I'll see you later. Peace.